one night stands, size does matter, but according to a new study, not penis length, it's penis girth that mm. the ladies are looking for. In the study, 41 women viewed and handled penises made on a 3D printer. The models were blue and ranged in size from four inches long and two and a half inches in circumference to eight and a half inches long and seven inches in circumference. They were asked to pick which of the 33 models they would prefer a one-time partner and which they would prefer for a long-term partner. For one night stands, women selected penis models with slightly larger girth on average than those that they selected for a long-term relationship. Hmm. So yeah, but here's, here's another fun little part of the study. They had women handle one of the peni, and then they <laughs> put it in a bin with all the other peni, and then they took, a, you know, they took a test and they talked to them for a while, about 10 minutes went by, and they said, go in the penis bin and find the one that you were just fondling. And almost every woman picked a larger one than the one she was actually holding. So just FYI, you guys, um, we don't remember how big it is. In fact, we, gen we generally think it's bigger than it was. So yeah, they're overestimating the, the penis they were handling. Yep. So, so that's good news for guys, I guess, yeah. um, for those who need it. Um, <laughs> okay, I like that this story had a penis bin. Penis bin. <laughs> oh, a bin full of penises. That's fun, uh, uh, fun for everybody. Now, more interesting facts. Um, so uh, in terms of length, it didn't matter for one-time partner or a long-time partner. Okay, so they're like, I want the same length, whatever that length was for right. that particular right. woman, whether it's one time or not. But if if it was one time, they're like, I need, I want it thicker, than if it's a long time partner. Is that weird? I don't think it's weird at all. I think oh, it's, interesting. Why? Not at all, because women don't tend to uh, climax through penile vaginal intercourse, they tend to need clitoral stimulation. So like 80% of women can't have a vaginal orgasm, right? So it doesn't seem to matter much to women. And in fact, if you look at this study, it says that it was more important, so, so length was more important for women who do have vaginal orgasms. Okay, so there's that to consider, right? It doesn't really matter for most women. Two stats that I loved in this, 60% of women said penis size doesn't matter at all. Okay, so that's not bad, mm -hmm. right? So that uh, they can lie like that. <laughs> <laughs> but they gave them the printed out penises that they could play around and do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So they have no incentive to lie. They're like, you know, they in fact they could be like, oh, you are like a man. Whatever they can do whatever the hell they want, right? They lie to themselves because they thought, just like she yeah. said, that they, they picked bigger. a penis that they thought was bigger than the one they actually had, which is my experience too. Like when I met Michael Schur, I thought he was a much bigger dick than I do now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what he gets for not sticking around for the second. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, now, is oh. that's right that if you have vaginal orgasms, then a longer penis is, is apparently ideal. But the other stat that I liked was that uh, uh, when they asked them what's the size you prefer, on average, women chose six and a half inches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six and a half inches. That's the prefer that's the preferred preferred length. Well, wow. Because yeah, yeah because yeah. the size of your uterus, right? At six and a half, it's literal it's likely to not hurt your cervix. Well, right? that's Otherwise the thing. You it's can, too long, it's painful. You can bruise a woman's cervix. Yeah. Like, Tone I know. It's it. a oh. <laughs> 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 Women tend to orgasm more in committed relationships and also with various sexual activities. And they're less likely to, to get various sexual activities in one night stands. They're more likely to get like stimulated digitally if they're with a partner they've been with for a long time or they're more likely to get like oral sex with a partner for a long time. So if you're look, when you're looking for like a one night stand, you want to make sure that you like optimize your chances of getting that clitoral stimulation and the bigger, the girthier, the more likely the penis is to rub on the clitoris. So I think that's part of it too. Oh. Like women like subconsciously like are like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get some more stimulation from this. That's why it's important you look at these studies that on average, mm -hmm. you know, then you get a sense of where women stand. So women come women have orgasms more in committed relationships. Absolutely. And more in committed relationships and more with uh, different positions and different types of stimulation. And and with men uh, they orgasm more when their when their penis is out. 
The point is... <laughs> <laughs> is it, no, it actually no, holds that, true for men, too, though. This holds true for men as well. Men don't the, orgasm the, sometimes? I, I know that's what I thought. And I was like, wait, what? No, they don't orgasm 100% of the time? But they report that they don't. They fake it, apparently, sometimes. And sometimes they just don't reach climax. A lot of times it's psychological. Yeah. But problem. they're more likely to orgasm with a partner that they're in a committed relationship with than a one night stand. One and, night stand. And here, and to, to show you how <laughs> on what an unconscious level orgasms occur on, right, what all the things mm -hmm. that need to be in place for a woman, the number one predictor of a woman's orgasm is the symmetry of her lover's face. So the mm -hmm. more symmetrical a guy's face is, the more likely the woman is to orgasm. Get and, out that, of here. and that is unconsciously through millions of years of evolution yep. connected to the symmetry of his face making a stronger baby. Do, that's also, absolutely true. Do you remember when they actually, I don't know if it was Time or Newsweek, but they had a picture of Lyle Lovett and they had a picture of Denzel Washington. I remember they, it. That was why I it was all about facial symmetry. Obviously, the women wanted to bone Lyle. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, they made the, like that Denzel Washington has the perfectly symmetrical face and what that does to women. It, yeah. it does a lot to women. I mean, I don't really look at their face too much, so. No, yeah. or yeah. I think it's that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so obviously there's a lot to be said about attractiveness and symmetry as well. It's just like, am I having sex with somebody who's hot that I'm attracted to or not? I think yeah. that's a big part of it.